give me a moment. Of course everything's all right. By the stone. I feel like I'm about to fall off the world with all that sky up there. Too bad. It's kind of like being drunk, but so much cheaper. Sodding fabulous. <laughs> It'll be like being drunk all the time, but without spending all that time actually swallowing. <sighs> Nothing over your head. At all. Just any time a great sodding big bird can fly overhead and take you away. <laughs> you people are mad out here. That's all I'm saying. Strange? <laughs> Strange is your wife turning out to prefer the ladies. Not living in a world without a bleeding ceiling. Fine, you're the Grey Warden. If I could fight Randar Volney second after downing 15 lichen ales in half an hour, <laughs> I'm not gonna be put off by a high sodding ceiling. Well, let's get moving. We're losing, what you call it, uh, daylight. Uh, just give me one sodding moment. That's it. I've had it! If saving the surface means working for someone like you, I say let the sodding world burn! So long, farewell, and may you be spit-roasted on a sodding pitchfork. Oh, you've a real mouth on you, huh? Lift your weapon, warden, and pray for a painless death! Just like that? I've been here since we left Orzammar. If things haven't changed yet, they're not sodding well going to. <laughs> Just like that, huh? <laughs> Less punching than I expected. Holding you back? Why? Oh, you're saying I can go? <sighs> I was hoping you'd at least put up a fight. Look, I... Uh... <sighs> Whatever you say, Warden. You smug little bastard. Make me! Well, uh, sure, I'll stick around. For the good of the world. But you watch out, Warden. One false step and I'm out. Got it? Oh, aye. That's what I like to hear. Now, enough moping about like a bunch of Nancy elves. Let's get moving. You're pushing it, Warden. Keep it up. Too late, Warden. You've had plenty of chances to do things my way. And I'm done waiting. No. No. I'm done. You beat me, you sodding bastard. Pray we never meet again. Yes, whatever you say. Back in... Oh, line. Right here, old pal. I got a moment. <laughs> sure. What you need? Oh, sure. I'm fine with it. I mean, she was a real firebrand between the sheets. But a bit soft in the skull, you know what I mean? Explains why she left, anyway. Well, what do you think? I mean, she was my wife. I spent two years trying to save her while she was off boffing that tramp and feeding my cousins to the darkspawn. And now she's dead. And there's no way to ever make things better. Ah, it's good to be with friends, you know. Or at least just deep in fallen enemies. You want to get moving now? My throat's sore from all this relating. Heh <laughs> I guess I could use a bit of the old mortar and pestle if you're digging my trench. <laughs> Made you turn a little red there. Or is that green? Oh, I gotta try that one out on Alistair. See what color I get. Yeah, you said it. I was starting to think of my pants as a home away from home. She sure as stone used to be. Way back when, when we got going, people thought it was the dark spawn coming through. Uh, don't you give me that look. Shaper's truth. I still got a trick shoulder from it. Crying about it. What the... Uh, fine, you want me to be happy about it? You did what you thought was right, Warden. I just wish there was another way it has ended. I swear to the stone, the next time someone asks me that, I'll write my name in bruises on their ass. Ancestors, take me. You people whine like tea kettles around here. Handling what? Bronca? Pfft. That treasure's been long buried. Oh, you don't know her. She was cracked like a glass floor. Before she was a paragon, I mean. <laughs> After that, she really fell apart. Woman was a few columns short of a hall, you know? I mean, she leaves me and flits about with that watered tart Hespeth. What's she got that I don't? Just the thought of the two of them together, kissing and licking and... intertwined on the floor of the deep roads. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna go back to the tent for a moment. 
Excuse me. Let's get back to it. My fighting arm's twitching. Oh yeah, sure. I'm chipper. You should try it. Drive your wife crazy and turn your whole family into sodding darkspawn. Pretty soon everyone will be doing it. It's sodding great. At first I was a little queasy with all that air, but there's just so much of it. No one has any idea who you are or what you're doing. Any ale? Oh, who'd have thought? Ale made with grain. <laughs> I have to admit, though, I do miss home. Just a bit. A little bit. The only way I'd go back is if they all lined up to kiss my ass and didn't care if they lost their cast for doing it. <laughs> hmm. Actually, that might be nice. Yeah, but I can't go back now. I'd rather die than be castless in Orzammar. Oh, right. Sorry. But you have to admit, given the choice, a nice clean burial sounds pretty appealing, no? Uh, I guess I'd rather be a useless lump of a dwarf out here than a useless lump of a dwarf back there. You got something to say? Nice of you, Warden. But I know what side of the house the loo is on. Hey, let's go find something to kill, huh? All this talk makes my hands twitchy. You know, I never thought of that. <laughs> You're a sodding great genius. Aye, that's the one I'm sticking to. Well, aye, you were royal. Your brother might try and reinstate you or something. Wouldn't work that way for me, anyway. Hm. I suppose Harrimont might try to get your title back, but I wouldn't bet on it. Well, you were in the royal family. Maybe the Shapers can spew you some kind of excuse and give your title back. You want to go back to where you eat trash and get beaten for walking on the wrong street? <laughs> You're crazier than I thought. <laughs> I guess we're all a bunch of whimpering softies in the end. Anyhow, let's keep moving. If anyone finds out I was getting all mopey, I'd lose my reputation. Aye, it was. Still, I can't go back even if I wanted to. I'd rather be dead than be castless in Orzammar. When I was there, I thought it was a muckhole full of backstabbing, tin-plated, would-be tyrants. I ought to cap your knees for that. Aye, the surface is fine. It's not quite Orzammar, but it's fine. And you got me all misty again. I'll just be over there if you need something killed. Aye, the surface is great. It's like a big, bright world of filth without a ceiling. My kind of place. Aye, I do. A bit. A little bit. What? Miss Orzammar? Are you mad, in addition to being ugly? <laughs> they treated me like a puddle fly back there. I'm never going back. There you are. Wanted to talk to you. You and I, we've... You know how sometimes you spend time with... People and things. Hmm. I, uh, what? Keep your hands where I can see them. Uh, sheesh. Can a man address a friend without getting all weird? <laughs> well, I'll be shaved skin and hung up to dry. <sighs> it's too soon, though, lady. Too soon. I just wanted to ask a favor. I was thinking... Uh, I do know some people out here on the surface. A person, actually. A girl I knew in Orzammar. Before I left, obviously. Her name's Felsey. She and I were uh, friends after Bronca left for the deep roads. I'm sure she's forgiven me by now. Thought maybe I'd track her down. See how she's been living. Me? Cheat? Ah! That iron-thighed shrew had left me long before, and she'd cheated on me with that tramp Hespeth. I grant you, I didn't find out about that till after, but, hey, truth is truth. Oh, we coiled the old rope, if you know what I mean. Oiled the mine shaft. <laughs> Rubbed the foreman's elbow. <laughs> there was this thing she did with a tube of rendered nug fat. What? Stop looking at me like that. Anyway, she left for the surface a year back, and I haven't seen her since. I, You are a true pal, Warden. You know that? Well, oh, I, I figured. World in peril and all. Still, if we happen to be nearby with a few moments to spare... What? Why are you asking me? I didn't do anything. Last I heard... She was going to live with her mother on the surface, near some lake. 
Clean Bad Lake, was it? Yeah, I sod it, I don't remember. Well, and a good friend you are, Warden. I'll think about you if we ever... Uh, no, actually, that would be gross. No, uh, what was it you wanted to say? Forget it yourself, you great dusted mud pile. I'll find her on my own when we get through this. Ah, you suspicious sack of pebbles. You always have to think the worst of someone. Ah, you whipped out the knife, didn't you? Look, Felsey and me, we didn't leave things on the best of terms. Yeah, she was jealous of Bronca. Then she got to be controlling, and Ogren was meant to be free, you know what I mean? Anyway, she couldn't handle everyone wishing they could be with me. So she left. Honest truth. Ah, well, you go ahead. Wait, so we're going? Well, it's my side of the story. I don't give sod all what you believe. Good. I just want to find her, that's all. There's some things I don't tell anybody. Even my friends. So, are we doing this or not? Oh, bleeding mud. I'm just kidding with you. You don't have to bring out the eyebrow. Yeah, it's all fine. I'm sure she'll welcome us with open arms. Yeah, as long as there's a few things she's forgotten. <laughs> but I've forgotten most of it myself, so it should be fine. Uh, I... you got me there. But this one's a gem, Warden. You'll see. It's dust underfoot, Warden. Forget about it. What? Oh, you mean were we rutting? <laughs> oh, I... After Bronca left for the deep roads, name's Felsey. She was a fiery one. It'd be nice to talk to someone else who's been out here a while. Not, you know, embroiled in a quest to save Ferelden from a thousand years of darkness or anything. Someone else from Orzammar. What are you now, the Warden of Love? I'll do what I want. Why wouldn't she? I will. Let me go first. Otherwise, I won't. I... Here we go. Oh, I. You've got time to go off traipsing about after Darkspawn, but you got no time for your pal Ogren, is that it? Stone forbid I get in the way of your great, important quest. Just to ask one little favor. I was just asking a favor. You had to go all that on me. Am I? <laughs> I've forgotten. You didn't take me? What? You scoping her for yourself? Safe. What kind of women do you think I... Yeah, well, I, Bronca, did try to trap us in the deep roads. I see your point. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Rumbling stone, I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> Lead the way, Warden. The Ogren love caravan is on the move. What? Are you sodding serious? And I suppose you control my comings and goings now, huh? Well... I won't distract you from your mission, but when this dark spawn business is over, you just wait. I... All right, then. Then turn around and stop bothering me. What about? All right. That about tears it. I gave you a chance, but you couldn't handle it. Good luck with the Archdemon and all that. But frankly, I think he may be more reasonable. I told you I would. If you've ever heard one word that came out of my mouth, I hope you succeed, Warden. But I hope it kills you. Too late for that, Warden. Just too sodding late. I... You want to be a berserker? <laughs> Thought I'd never see the day. I... I'll teach you. Just be ready. To be a berserker, you have to face your own inner rage. Let the spirit of battle take over. And all that dust. There's a whole pile of philosophical rot that goes behind it. But the bedrock is this. Get real mad and kill things. Well, you also have to be in peak physical condition and so forth. But believe me, if you're mad enough, you're not thinking about that. I can teach you what gets my hackles in a twist. But no one can tell you what'll set off that killing rage in you. Finding that is the key to berserking. Once you got that, I tell you, the ladies love it when you're all mysteriously angry for no reason. Trust me, you're a quick study, Warden. You must have been seriously steamed up about something for a long time. What the sod is there to know? You get mad, you fly into battle, and things die. It's pretty simple. The hard part is getting in touch with your rage. We all learn to hold that back. 
That's why we don't kill every duster who looks at us sideways. You need to shut that off. For some people, being in battle is enough. But others have to think about something. Violence, monsters, nobles, your wife, whatever. <laughs> I, especially my wife. Oh, for most berserkers, it does. Several years ago, I worked with a berserker on one expedition who just couldn't work himself up. We had to kick him in the stones before he could get going. Why not? When you fight, you get mad. By the stone, it's a sodding tactic to enrage your enemy so he makes a mistake, right? Berserkers grab that anger and drink it like it's yesterday's ale. Then we turn it against our foes and watch the limbs fly. You have your own talents, Warden. Harnessing your sodding rage in combat is not one of them. Leave that to us, warrior grunts. It does, it does. But I almost guarantee you've never in your life been as rage-blind as you have to be to draw strength from it. I'll show you how. I'm good at getting people really, really mad. I, I know. <laughs> it's a sodding mystery. No, see, it's funny because you'll never be able to do it. A mage wants to be a berserker? <laughs> but if you know someone fit for this type of work, I'll teach him. It'll be nice to have another berserker to grunt at for a change. If you want to think like a berserker, drop fair from your vocabulary. If it works, that's all. What? You don't see me waist-deep in entrails every time I sodding step up to fight? I'll teach your warriors to be the best berserkers on the bleeding surface. I'm listening. You're a monster on the field already, Warden. But your style just doesn't give itself to mad rage. Too much thinking, too much, uh, what you call it, finesse. <laughs> I still got it. That could have gone better. Come to talk to old Ogren, have you? Don't know why. I don't know. I just, I guess we're pretty good friends now, right? I just, I just keep thinking about all that slag with Bronca. How I've turned out. I always said I was this way because she left, but... I think maybe she left because of how I am. I... I can be a right sodding bastard sometimes. <laughs> no, she just estimated me. She knew how I was, and because of that she left without me. Worked out in my favor, though. I'm here fighting the good fight, not fed to Keridan's traps or her pet darkspawn. <clears throat> Enough wallowing in my own filth. Did you want to talk about something? I... I've tried 27 new kinds of ale, and learned I'm just the right height to give a human girl a good time. That doesn't make me a good man. I... Ogren's gotta fart and swear and talk about nugs and asses, right? Doesn't mean I don't think about something deeper sometimes. But whatever you like. Nothing. I'm fine. Just, uh, I got a hornet in my eye is all. Did you want to talk about something? I, well, hello. Well, aren't you the paragon of sodding friendship? Pull up a drink, warden. Join me in my sodding hole. Nah, just tired is all. Just leave me alone, warden. Seriously, upset. <laughs> I don't get upset. I get drunk. What do you want? I people talking when I'm trying to have a sodden quiet moment. That really twists my nut. You, you have a lot of nerve coming here. Oh, no, you don't. You can't come swishing in here and take over the warden's camp just like that. I'll fight you with my sodding weapon, you moss-biting poetess. You came and... And stole my own princess with your, your, your poetry. Your disguise can't fool me, woman. No, pal. You think I'm someone else. <laughs> How do you like that, huh? Swish! That's right. You keep looking at me like that. I'll just go get my pants from that sodden dog. Problem? Oh, I, I got a problem with your face. You keep it up and I'll fight you. I don't even care that you're some kind of wool-gnawing poetess. You're drunk. <laughs> Take that, you sodding, uh, sodding...
poetess? That's right, yeah. Get out of here, you harlot. You saw it. Tell that thing to give it back. That dog! Mangy mongrel. Sodding thing took my pants. I'll show him. Yeah, I don't need my pants anyway. Aye. That's why I need to crack that dog over his sodding head. But the dog doesn't know that. And it will be his sodding downfall. You hear that, Nug Humper? I'm coming for you. Prepare to die. You better talk later. I'm watching you. Like a hawk. A hawk. Ah, I knew it. You're in cahoots. Only if by augurin time, you mean. <sighs> yes. <laughs> But that dog ruined it when he stole my pants. It's all a part of the plan, you see? A clever ruse to get that dog back for stealing my pants. Hey, warden, you gotta hear this one. This human walks into a tavern, and there's an elf there, and she says... <laughs> and she says... <laughs> she says, I don't... <laughs> no, no, that's not it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember now. <laughs> you there. Hi, you. <laughs> I've been watching you. Where can I get some sauce for that rump roast? <laughs> that's right. You've wiped your foot on the Ogren doormat of love. <laughs> Ooh, that's just what I had in mind. <laughs> Go and make yourself ready, woman. I'll be right there to see to it. <laughs> <laughs> Ass chabs. <laughs> you get a sword or an axe and are told to go out and defend your city. It's the best thing in the world. That is, until you try to live in the city you saved. I mean, they train you to kill, teach you to harness your rage at the first noise you hear, then try to set a hundred sodding rules about it. Like those provings. <laughs> Ancestors show their favor through the strongest arm, right? So why so many rules saying how to fight and when you win and not to bloody kill? Killing's what swords are for. <sighs> if that's how you feel... I'll try that out next time the dark spawn are chewing on your leg. You toss a nug to a deep stalker, you don't expect it not to eat the thing, right? You can kill with blunted weapons, warden. Well, maybe you can't. Sure, if you like following orders from some shaper with his head so far up his own arse he can't see out his neck. Aye, the subject gets me all fired up anyhow. Oh no, that wasn't me this time. <laughs> But I can see where you might be confused. Phew. Wait, you're serious, aren't you? Go. Go where? I threw in my lot with you, Warden. And until now, I thought you were the best deal I'd ever landed. But far be it for me to get in your hair if you don't want me. If I learn nothing else from Bronca, <laughs> I've got that. Yeah, what patch of mud did this crawl out of? Here I thought we were getting along, and you pull this on me. I this isn't working out. It was foolish to think of someone like me on a heroic mission against an archdemon. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm not sure where else to go. Can't really go back to Orzammar, and you're the only one I know on the surface. Maybe I can open a tavern. <laughs> well, good luck, Warden. Come find me, and we'll toast the archdemon when he's dead. I suppose I'll go back to Felsey, see what happens. Maybe Felsey'll take me in. I may not have my cast, but no one can take away my sheer stud factor. Oh, make up your mind, will ya? My sodding pleasure. It's been real interesting, Warden. I hope the archdemon chokes on ya. What? Me leave? Are you serious? There you are. <laughs> I was thinking, we've been through a lot together now. We're like old war buddies. So I figured why not invite you to share a drink, huh? 
a drink from my own stash, my family's recipe, and dedicated to my comrades in arms. <laughs> yes, the warden steps up. <laughs> you handled that like a champion, my friend. <laughs> Most impressive. How do you feel? <laughs> That's a spirit. I, uh, I just wanted to tell you, after all we've been through, you're like family to me. Closest thing I've had in years. Oh, Warden, I do believe I'm getting all misty-eyed. But that could be because those beans are getting chatty, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, Ogren's dough is always baked through, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, do you want to talk about something? Aye, a toast with a dry cup. <laughs> You're not getting any more of my brew. Oh, no. The rest is for me. You'd need to do something really unspeakable to get into the rest of my stash. That just means it's working. <laughs> Ride the rock slide, my friend. <laughs> oh, come on, you stuff-chested tumbler. This is a once-in-a-lifetime offer. Oh, well, I can't make you drink. But I will hold it against you for the rest of your life. I know. But never fear, Ogren will be right here to hold your head while you vomit. I well, I'm not interested. If you want to know about me, you can sodding read it in the broadsheets. Bloody right. No, I don't teach people I hate how to fight. Learn your little tricks from someone else. Sure, here's something about berserkers. They all hate you. At least all the ones present. Go boil your head in lard, warden. And I mean that. So, uh... I was thinking, we've come to know each other fairly well during our time in the Deep Roads. You're bloody fearsome for a human. <laughs> and I'm a warrior without a house to defend. You're bloody fearsome for an elf. And I'm a warrior without a house to defend. You're a bloody fearsome sort. And me, I'm a warrior without a house to defend. Wandering about killing Darkspawn with a sodding Grey Warden sounds like just the thing to keep me occupied. So what do you say? Are you sure about that? You've seen what I can do. Well then, so be it. I appreciate the help tracking down Bronca. Too bad we couldn't reach her before she cracked. <laughs> what? You? All right. I swear to obey you, you dusty-eyed nugsucker. Can we move along now? Now, do any of these sad sacks following you around know the first thing about making ale? Eh, uh, never mind. You can stop with the glaring. I'll ask him myself. What good would I? You got so many allies you couldn't use one more? And one with a thousand shattered darkspawn skulls to his name? Eh, uh, more than that. It'll cost me my house to take a trip like this. But I don't have a bleeding house to begin with, so who cares? I'm better off up there with you than down here where the sodding children laugh at me. I, I will. Yeah, but who sodding cares? Bronca ran off with my house, and I can't carry weapons down here anyway. And glad I am to hear it. You won't regret it. <laughs> well, I guess you both got what you wanted. Hope it was worth the cost. We should get back to the city now. Share the news. Well, that pretty much beat the sod out of how I imagined it. You ready to head back yet and share the news? Aye. I wouldn't be in any hurry to get back to the assembly either. Yeah, those deshers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. Heh. <laughs> Good old Bronca. She's a bit, uh... Abrasive, isn't she? Guess I forgot that part about her screeching in my ear every sodding day. <laughs> oh well. We'll help her get the anvil and then she'll come home and everything will be better. The bloody doors of Boonamar. I never thought I'd ever see these, you know? Why do you think they built them so big anyway? <laughs> Overcompensation. Anyway, you better be ready to crack skulls once we get in there. Boonamar's been lost to the Darkspawn for generations. I'm pretty stupid, I'll give you that. But even I won't fight through these hissing beasts just to see some big doors. You're funny, Warden. Bleeding hilarious. This place makes my skin crawl. Bronco was thinking about me. I knew she still cared. 
Old softy. Looks like the Dead Trenches is our next stop then. They say the Darkspawn nests there. Whole herds of them. But if that's where Bronco went, then that's where I'm going. Looks like Bronco went on from here. From the looks of it, she didn't stay more than a few days. And I doubt she found any more sign of the anvil than we have. If I had to guess, I'd say she probably tried the Dead Trenches next. Bunamar was Keridin's other great achievement. Before the Darkspawn took it anyway. A bit. Onward and downwards, the best I can make out. I, I think the Dead Trenches should be our next stop. Keridin's other great creation and all that. The Anvils is likely to be theirs anywhere. Looks like that bone picker is living in Bronca's old camp. Did you see the marks on the floor? There are a lot of people in fires there once. Those must be Bronca's papers he said were taken by the spiders. Nothing that fragile would be left from the tag. Now I know she's not here anymore. She'd never have let something like that sleep in the same spot she did. By the tits of my ancestors. Wartan Tag. I never thought I'd see this place in the flesh. I can see Bronca all over this place. She always took chips from the walls at regular intervals when she was in a new tunnel. Check their composition. If she was still here, though, she'd have sentries out by now. Well, aren't you a sodding bright spot today? <laughs> if everyone's dead, there'd be evidence of a major battle, wouldn't there? Three hundred or so dwarves don't just fade away. This was Keridin's home tag. He was an Orton before he got raised to Paragon. Even stayed here when he could have had his own house. I guess he didn't want to move his people to Bunamar, the city of the dead. Keridin built it to honor the Legion of the Dead, but it was more like a sodding mausoleum than anything. Of course, that was all before he built the anvil. After that, he was the city's pet genius until he angered the king and fell into disfavor. No, no, there was a Tig here, the Orton Tig. Bunamar is north and west of here, but that's not important, or at least I hope it isn't. The City of the Dead is known as the Dead Trenches since the Darkspawn conquered it. Much of the Legion was destroyed when the fortress fell. No one does. At the time, Orton Tig was almost part of the main city. No one bothered to mark where the anvil was stored. Now it's impossible to know if it's been moved or even destroyed, but trust me, if we find it, we find Bronca. I don't know. This was always her goal. She figured if the anvil wasn't here, there would at least be some clue to point her to where it is. Couldn't have said it better myself. Why are you heading back to the city? We won't sodding find Bronca going that way. This looks like the right way out. Horton Tig. It won't be long now. Too many sodding tracks here. Some must belong to those thick-boot legionnaires, but we'll probably run into more dark spawns soon. Still, you seem to be holding up. Just don't expect me to kill everything and cover your ass, too, when the real fighting starts. I can't believe she led the whole house through here. It's impossible to defend a group that size. Stupid idea. But she must have had a reason. Sometimes it frightened me just listening to her think out loud. Made me feel like a child trying to understand an adult conversation. Aye, we're definitely on the right track. I can see she marked some of the walls. Had a lodestone she always used when she was in the deeps. Like to mark the walls every few hours to make sure she was on the right path. Little hard to see against all the other marks there. But they're hers, sure enough. You'll see when you meet her. It's impossible not to. Best mind Orzammar's seen in centuries. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, <laughs> my thoughts exactly. Keridin's Cross. I can't believe Harrowmont actually tracked this place down. I can't believe Balin actually tracked this place down. This used to be one of the biggest crossroads in the old empire. You could get anywhere from here, including Orton Tig. Aye. Bronca dug up some maps of the ancient empire. It's a little tough to tell with so much of it collapsed now. But near as I can figure, we're on the right path to Orton Tig. Looks like it's just off the lowest part of the road here. 
I expect we'll start seeing signs of Bronca soon. I've been waiting for someone to say that for two sodding years. Not a one. But trust me, we will once we're on the path to the old Orton Taig. She was going to Keridan's home. <laughs> Only Bronca's hero, the most famed paragon ever to rise from Smith Cast. He built the anvil. And he's the only one who ever knew its secret. It's the home of Keridan, the paragon who made the anvil. He was an Orton before he founded his own house. And even then, he spent most of his time in their taig. Bronca figured it was the best guess for where the anvil was located. No one but Keridan ever really knew more than it had some kind of stone-blessed power. Every golem who ever ranged across the Empire was hammered on the steel of that anvil. But no one ever knew exactly how they were made. But Bronca was sure she could find out. Well, according to Bronca's maps, Orton Tai got to be off the lowest part of the main road here. Oh, ho! Oh, <laughs> the all-powerful warden comes crawling back from the deep roads to ask for my help. Maybe if you got over yourself and let me come with you, you could sod and get somewhere down there. Great. I knew you'd come around eventually. You need to pull your head out of your ass and agree to work with me. Beyond that, I ain't saying. Well, you could try. <laughs> but the way I see it, there's two ways that turns out. Either you kill me, or I kill you. And either way, you're no closer to Branca. Seems like a much smarter course to pool our muscle and search her out together, no? Guess you weren't crawling long enough. <laughs> I can wait. Well, whatever it was that's so all fired important, you done with it? We ready to go find my sodding wife. And hurry your ass up already. I'll be waiting. So, you were serious before when you said you wanted to help Bronca, huh? I'm Ogren. I don't know if you remember. People seem to forget me these days. Or ignore. I forget which. <laughs> Not everyone hates me, you know. There's enough people who know I'm interested. They make sure I hear if anyone's looking for her. They say Balin's given up on his scouts and is sending you. They say Harriman's team's finally learned something, and he's sending you to follow it. <sighs> there you are. I thought I'd spoken to a Grey Warden, but for some reason I chalked it up to the drink. <sighs> I know you're down here to look for Bronca. And, uh, I need to ask a favor. You remembered. <laughs> I'm sodding touched. Maybe now that His Highness thinks my Bronca can be rescued, you don't think I'm quite so crazy, huh? I guess now that Sir Upright and Honest thinks my Bronca's still alive, you're not so quick to say I'm crazy, huh? I'm still her husband. More than that, I'm the only one who cares about her as a person. Not some symbol to leave in the deep roads where she can't offend anyone. I'm the only one who still cares about her as a person. Everyone else thinks she's just a symbol they can leave in the deep roads where she can't offend anyone. I mean to get her back. And you wouldn't be down here if you weren't trying for the same thing. Stranger, have you seen a Grey Warden hereabouts? I hear tell that he, or was that she... You understand, this was several flagons ago. <laughs> was setting out to search for Bronca on the Prince's own orders. I've been privy to the rumor that he... Or was that she? Hey, you understand, this was many mugs ago. It was searching for Bronca on Lord Harriman's own command. Impossible. I have read all the tales and legends about the Grey Wardens. Now... Where is the real warden? Stout and muscular, fair of face, but with a strong jaw and a bold nose, surrounded by a great glowing nimbus. If she's a woman, she might be more slight, but her eyes will shine with the light of purity, and her large but chaste bosom will heave magnificently. Eh, but I guess standards aren't what they used to be. Hey... Can I ask you a favor? I've been looking for hours, but I haven't seen anyone who looks like that. Very frustrating. 
Well, if you're the best they got, then standards must have fallen way down. But I suppose that would account for an elf being down here. But I suppose that would account for a human in Orzammar. But I suppose that would account for that pack of surfacers you got with you. But I guess there's not too many others who'd brave the deep roads on their own. Say, could I ask you a favor? Seriously? You're the warden? <laughs> I mean... The Grey Warden? Well, I'm her siding husband, aren't I? Not to mention the only one who wastes a precious second looking for her. So why are you so interested? Unless... Hey, hold off here. Wardens and their staff are the only non-dwarfs who've been allowed in the city lately. Does that mean that you, or one of them, are a warden? Huh. I have to say, from all the tales, I was expecting something a little more impressive. Well, uh, you know, someone who really catches the eye. Got me there. <laughs> I really couldn't give a nug's ass about who is and isn't a warden. Could I ask you a favor? Name's Ogren. And if you've ever heard of me before, it's probably all been about how I piss ale and kill little boys who look at me wrong. <laughs> And that's mostly true, but the part they never say is how I'm the only one still trying to save our only paragon. Princey and his heroness may be looking for Bronca now, but only because they see a gain from it. So I figure if no one worthwhile's willing to look, I'd come to you. Ugh. I'm not some sodding elf maiden who sits around and waits for a passing hero to solve my problems. I'm a bloody warrior. Ah, oh, stuff your head. I have a bleeding paragon to find. I don't have time to worry about your sodding feelings. I'm not saying I should be your first pick for a dance partner at whatever Highness's inaugural ball. But in the deep roads, I'm your man. And if you're looking for Bronca, I'm the only one who knows what she was looking for which might be pretty sodding helpful in finding her. You think I'm gonna give that away when I don't even know your intentions? What I want is a trade. I know what Bronca wanted, and how she was looking. You presumably know everything Balin scouts have discovered about where she disappeared. I know what Bronca wanted, and how she was looking. You, I assume, know whatever Harrowmont's men have dug up on where exactly she disappeared. If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. Perfect. You ready to get going? You should know that Bronca was looking for the Anvil of the Void. The secret to building golems, which was lost centuries ago. No one's ever found a way to duplicate it. But if Bronca could recover it, Orzammar might finally drive the Darkspawn back for good. As far as anyone knows, the anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Bronca planned to start looking there, if she could ever find it. All she knew was that it was past Keridan's Cross. No one's seen that Taig for five hundred years. Great. Once we're there, I should be able to pick up Bronca's trail, no trouble. Lead on. All right. Let's not waste another minute, then. Bronco was looking for the Anvil of the Void. Might have been the most important invention in Orzammar's history. The smith Carradin built it. And with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the Anvil. No one ever learned the Anvil's secret, or how to smith a golem without it. And since it was lost, Orzammar's grown more vulnerable every year. Why do you sodding think? She left me! Ran off and took our entire sodding house on her mad quest for the anvil. It was a stupid move. If I'd been with her, she'd have made it back years ago. But I forgive her. Why? We were sodding married until she left me and took our whole house into the deep roads on her mad quest for the anvil. Well, I'll wait here then. But she's been gone two years already, and every day down there is a chance for bloody death. So the longer you wait, the more likely I'll be marking any of her injuries on your hide. It's the deep roads. I'll kill Darkspawn. Outside of that, what difference does it make? Perfect. 
What's one more? No, you can't. Because if Balin's information was good enough, he'd have bloody well found her already. Then if Harrowmont knows so much, how come none of his men have found her already? Bronca was a brilliant girl. But half the time she'd add two and two and make it fifty. <laughs> You want to find her, you need someone who knows how she thinks. Someone who's got the notes and the map she was working from. Not whatever was discovered after. You need me. Fine. You know what? Go out there. Crawl around in the dark for a few days. You'll see what a sodding great warren it is out there. Bronca had maps. Ancient ones of what the roads looked like back when this was an empire. Maps that I have now, but never mind. Go, knock yourself out, and when you realize you need me, come back and we can finally get something done. I know where she was going, not how to get there. It's a lost tag, you know. No one's seen it for centuries. If Balin managed to find it, that's only because he's got dozens of warriors he can send to search night and day. If Harrowmont tracked it down, it's only because he's got whole teams of loyal soldiers who can do the searching for him. He doesn't care if another few weeks of delay might mean Bronca's death. I was hoping you're different. Believe me, I have. But where she was going, it's a lost tag. No one's seen it in centuries. I searched as far as I could, but it would take teams of warriors searching weeks on end to cover enough ground to hope to find it, which I assume is just what Harrowmont's men have done. And they shared what they found with you, which I assume is exactly what Balin's scouts have done. And they give the fruits of their labor to you. But they haven't found Bronca herself. And that means whatever they've got, it's not enough if you don't know what she was looking for. Aye, lots of folks know that. But you don't know what, right? Aye, that blowhard Loylanar. And if you asked him, all he probably said is, Oh, that Ogren, he pisses ale and kills little boys who looked at him wrong. <laughs> hey, hold off there. What are you doing going for the deep roads by yourself? Only warriors and approved scouting parties, and those with direct permission from the assembly can exit here. So I figure you must be that Grey Warden everyone's on about. I was expecting something a little more impressive. What do you want? Uh, I know who you are. That castless whelp who ran off to become a warden. Oh, I heard about you. The exiled princess returned in Grey Warden's armor to put the past behind her. Oh, I heard about you. The exiled prince, coming back as a Grey Warden, put his past behind him. Hey, I heard about you. Grey Warden, coming from the surface. Great crisis in the world. People are saying how you've thrown yourself on Harrowmont's wagon train. Someone saw you talking to Vartag Gavorn. And now it's all over that you've been doing dirty errands for Balin. I figured you'd be the one, you know, who could help me find Bronca. But I guess you're just like all the rest. You don't need a king to face a blight. You need a paragon. Too little, too late. But it's a nice gesture, Warden. If you think your boot will get you an in I don't have, you're welcome to try this. <laughs> I know both Harrowmont and Balin have been asking about her. Two years without a peep, and suddenly now they want to start looking. If you find out what they know, it might just put me a step closer to finding her. Or sit here and have a drink. It's all the bleeding same to me. Barkeep? Sure. And sod off yourself while you're at it. I need a drink. Bronca's a paragon. Only one smart enough to be raised in the last four generations. She's a smith. Invented some kind of new coal that burns clean. What's it matter to you, huh? Huh. <laughs> you trying to find out her secrets? That what Harrowmont sent you here for? Why do you care, huh? You looking to uncover all her secrets? Is that what Balin wants? I know he's been poking around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. Won't tell me spit, though. He looking to take it for himself? A little lost technology of the ancients to throw Balin right out of the picture? He wants it for himself, right? A little blessing from the ancients' technology, and he's assured the throne. Is that it? You are looking for it. 
course. That's all anyone cares about. Well, sawed off and sawed your mother, too. I need a bleeding drink. Aye, of course. I'm her bleeding husband, aren't I? She left me here and took our entire house when she left. Is that what you're looking for? Well, there it is. Fine. The Assembly elects them, but they're higher than the Assembly. They become nobles, but they're more than anyone born to a house. They're what every dwarf with a spine not made of soap dreams of being. Aye, of course. Being a paragon would be a dusted sight better than this. City's only living paragon, and she's been lost in the deep roads for two years. Two years, and no one's raised a bleeding army to go look for her. It'll be two years tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors, how can you people just ignore that? Bronca didn't go alone, Ogren. She took the whole house, everybody but you. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. You think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach? Ha! <laughs> I'll... You lift a weapon or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, and you're stripped of your caste and exiled. Even you can't have forgotten that. So just get over to Tapsters and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. I, I have... For all the sodding good it's done me. If we're going, let's get moving. Bronca's not gonna sodding find herself. What? Keep licking those nugs asses, you wet-eyed sack of stalker spit. No way am I going to the surface to be some rotten crag slime slave. Good luck with your quest, warden. I hope it kills you. What? You're surprised? A man like me can't stay in the market for long. Of course, that doesn't mean much when your wife picks up and takes your whole sodding house into the deep roads without you. Where do you think you're going? We've got work to do. What? Are you breathing smoke? If I go up there, there's no coming back for me. And Bronca's not up there. She's down here. And I'm not going anywhere until I find her. That's right. Off we go now. Let's get back to Orzammar as quickly as we can. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> uh, should I show you? <laughs> All right, don't kill me. Now she has everything she's ever wanted. And I'm here. I'm not really in the mood for small talk, thanks. Maybe try again later. Preferably after the Archdemon rises. But it's also home. Flies live in piles of dung, but I bet they'd miss it when they're gone. <laughs> this makes me cranky. Don't you have any other inane questions? Yeah, she always did like to play hard to get. <laughs> Just bring me in the room and watch the flush come over those pretty lips. Did you... did you see that? They're not people. Oh, that's not right. Not right. Would you mind terribly if I... <laughs> To throw up fade. That's your dream place, isn't it? I've heard of it. It's unnatural for a dwarf to be here. Oh, stone protect me. What's going on? I don't feel right. Demon? You mean something set all that up just to kick me off? Well, it worked. Part me, Adam. Someone is gonna pay dearly for this headache. Oh, yes, they'll pay. If I collapse, I'll make sure it's over there. Now, let's go. Ah, the Tapsters. I don't know why, but it feels like I haven't been here in ages. It's like coming home. Pull up a seat and join me for a drink. It's the year's end celebration. Two bits off the lichen ale. Oh, let's find another table. I don't want to sit near a fat, smelly Ogren. <laughs> I don't smell funny, you little fart. And this is all muscle. Muscle! He's a disgrace to his caste and the good Paragon Bronca, Ancestor's Keeper. Yeah, they've been after me all day. Can't even vomit in the privy anymore without someone saying something. Uh, I'm used to it. Ha ha ha. A warrior forbidden to carry weapons. What a laugh. Who do you fight now, Ogren, baby nugs? I hear he arms himself with a tankard, sloshes his ale to show he's mad. You think I'm gonna let... Oh no, Ogren, don't get me wet. 
I don't think I could stand up to your splashings. What can I do? A clobbering eye. Heh. <laughs> Maybe I could do that. Show Mogren still got it in him. Eh, it's not worth it. I've got my tankard. You can do the defending my honor part if you like. Oh, he has someone to defend him. What say we teach the newcomer a lesson and then move on to the worthless sod himself? <laughs> Way ahead of you. Talent. Sawed off, Duster. Well, what does she say? There she is. I'm gonna go talk to her. Look, you gotta back me up here. Got it? <laughs> Thanks, Warden. Just uh, follow my lead, you know? Uh, you haven't met her, I take it. I uh, hadn't thought of that. Hm. Find out how much she misses old Ogren or who I have to kill. And then I'll go sweep her off her feet. That's me, <laughs> Mr. Charm. What do you mean? Uh, I got something in my beard? My trousers are open? What? Uh, we parted company under <laughs> less than friendly terms. <laughs> yeah, women. They're just too sensitive, you know? She threw me out of her house and tossed all my clothes into a lava vent. Threatened to take a pair of smithing tongs to... Well, you get the idea. <laughs> she always was cute when she was angry. Just be ready to pry her off when she throws herself at me. We don't want to make a scene here. Well, don't pry her off me too soon. I mean, a little scene's all right. Ah, that fight was rigged. Anyway, the guards said it wasn't worth pressing charges. So she's no call to hold a grudge. And she swooned, right? <laughs> Or uh, whatever it is women do when they get their panties in a knot. I knew it. Once you've had Ogren, what merchant boy would do? Well, of course. They're merchants. Maybe craftsmen. None of them compare to a real warrior. Did she say anything else? Weren't you watching? She could barely restrain herself. Don't you know anything about women? You gotta make them wait. Play hard to get. Yep. Still got it. After this thing with the Archdemon's over, I'll have to pry the ladies off with pliers, I suppose. <laughs> Might as well rest up while I can. You ready to go? Ah, why bother? Once this blight thing's taken care of, the ladies will be all over me like flies on a corpse. Hey, where are you going? Aren't you coming with me? Hey! No, no, I think it was clean bad. I remember because I thought, yeah, that's right, dirty good, clean bad. <laughs> but thanks for offering to take us there. You're a good friend, Warden. Let's get you out of here first. Then you can tuck my ear off for all I care. <coughs> Power hungry deep lords. The only real concern they have is whose ass gets the throne. You don't have to play dumb, Warden. Their lackeys only come to me when they want something. Well, if you want the secrets of a paragon, do the work and find her. There, now that's the abuse I'm used to. I still don't trust you, of course. Your boss, he's like the rest of them. Why do you care what I want? Nobody cares about what I want. Your boss trying to butter me up or what? If you want the secrets of a paragon, do the work and find her. It's been two years since she disappeared down the deep roads and your boss never gave her a thought. I wonder, what does he think he can get from her now? You keep on your errands. Until your boss really commits to looking, you're getting nothing but smoke out of old Ogren. Stop wasting time, Warden. I'm not here to chat. I tried to look her up the last time we were at Lake Kalanhod. She wasn't at work at the inn. At home with her sick mother, they said. I figured it was just the ancestors telling me something. But I keep thinking about her. 